Hey guys, what's going on? So today we're going to be talking about the best pets to farm, and for now we're just going to be talking about Phoenix and Ice Phoenix. Starting with Ice Phoenix, we're going to go and try and get its last soul here. We have one attempt left. Ice Phoenix's place to farm souls is actually very quick. It's just one room with a boss in it, and depending on your level and strength, of course, very quickly dealt with. I'm trying out kind of a new theory. Maybe I'm thinking if the pet that you're trying to get the soul stone for kills the boss, you'll get its soul stone. I think Boxer killed it, but whatever, we got the soul stone and it's probably a stupid theory anyway. So, we are going to check out Ice Phoenix's stats now. Going to see what's going on with Ice Phoenix and showing you something interesting also. So, first of all, I'm actually not too sure if this crit damage is important or useful without the crit percent, but the main thing the main thing that makes Ice Phoenix so awesome is this skill here, Ice Vortex. Massive AoE damage, 867%, and it shoots out 5 tornadoes, so actually if Ice Phoenix is close enough, then it can hit all uh, the enemy with all 5 tornadoes and deal so much damage crazy damage. So this is what's so awesome about Ice Phoenix. And while I was reading through her evolution chain, you can see that evolution 11, 12, and 13, I mean, crit of Phoenix by 60%, crit damage of Phoenix by 80% of the last two levels, that is insane. And Phoenix also has this synergy with Ice Phoenix. So we're going to check out the place to farm Phoenix Souls. And we're going to run through this dungeon. One other thing I do want to talk about is Boxer. And I was farming his souls until Evo 10, but I'm not going to do that anymore to focus on Phoenix. Because after Evo 10, really, he just gives bonuses to himself, and I'm not too much in a rush with that, especially because you can also get his souls through the treasure boxes. So, after three attempts, we finally got our Phoenix Soul. I think it is worth running it repeat to get the soul, the guaranteed soul, if you really want to be quick about evolving your pets. One other thing I did want to talk about is that both Phoenix and Ice Phoenix do have a second place you can farm souls, and that is in Chapter 9 at the Sand Envoy and Ghost Master respectively. They also have two elite challenges, but I would only recommend doing the elite challenges that give you two souls, because otherwise the trade-off isn't so worth it since you can only do five elite challenges per day. Phoenix's rare skill, I actually don't know too much about what it's doing, but I do know that it does increase your damage a lot, especially in uh, quest mode, so when there are a lot of a lot of little enemies, and its cooldown is super fast also, so I think it's a very interesting skill, especially if you want to 3-star those maps. I'm not sure how useful it'll be in PvP, but I'm sure I'll be testing that in the future, when I get her up a little bit higher. So anyway, that's about it for today. I'm sure I'll be making more farmable pet guides and whatnot like that in the future. But until then, thanks so much for watching, and until next time.